Today we're in the heart of the KwaZulu-Natal sugarcane fields at Sapi's Stanger Mill to have a look at the way in which paper is made from sugarcane. We're going into the Sapi paper plant which is right next to a sugar factory. Crushed sugarcane is sent from the sugar factory to the Sapi paper plant where it's stored in huge piles. The crushed sugarcane is known as bagasse. Bagasse is the fibrous matter that remains after sugarcane is crushed to extract its juice. Bagasse is fed from large stockpiles to the pulp mill as needed. It passes through a number of washing processes to remove the pith, dirt and stones. Most of the water that's used in the factory is recycled and used over and over. The bagasse is cooked in a large digester, a big pressure cooker to separate the fibers by dissolving the lignin in the material. Lignin is found in the cell walls of plants. It binds the fibers of the sugarcane together to give the cane the strength to grow straight up from the ground. Without the lignin binding the sugarcane together, the sugarcane would just flop over. The bagasse is cooked using caustic soda, steam and water to separate the lignin from the fibers. All of the cooking and refining processes are computer controlled, with raw materials being added to the machines automatically. Here the remaining caustic soda and lignin is washed out of the fibers. Next, a bleaching process changes the color of the fibers from brown to white as they pass through three bleaching stages. The first stage uses chlorine dioxide to remove most of the remaining lignin in the pulp. It's washed to remove the chlorine dioxide and moves to the second bleaching stage where a hydrogen peroxide and sodium hydroxide solution further bleaches the pulp. In the final bleaching stages, the fibers undergo a further hydrogen peroxide process, after which they are white and spotlessly clean. The paper made at this mill consists of a blend of bagasse and various hardwood and softwood pops. This blend is known as the furnish and varies according to the type of paper to be produced. The furnish is pumped to the paper machine where it's sprayed from the headbox onto a wire mesh belt that has tiny holes in it. The spray nozzles are located inside the headbox which is at the end of the machine. The pop mix is converted into a long sheet of paper in this way. The headbox nozzles provide a very consistent layer of pulp across the entire width of the machine. The mix is more than 99% water at this stage. The paper pulp forms on top of the wire and the water drains through the holes. The weight of the paper is determined at this stage by the amount of pulp mix that is sprayed onto the forming wire. The pulp is rapidly dewatered as it moves along the length of the moving wire belt. The fibers begin to bond and a mat is formed which is known as the web. The web is squeezed between a series of pressure rollers to remove water and then the paper sheet passes into a huge dryer where it will be dried using heat from steam heated rollers. The paper sheet can be dried to very accurate moisture levels to cater to each customer's requirements. As the sheet comes out of the machine, it's pressed between two metal rollers to create a smooth surface and checked for quality by an electronic scanner. The huge roll of paper at the end of the machine weighs over 8 tons and is called the jumbo reel. As one roll is filled, a new empty reel takes its place. The machine doesn't stop for reel changes. Instead, the paper sheet will be switched to a new reel with the machine in full flight, expertly handled by well-trained staff. The paper now has all the characteristics required for its end use. These reels can be delivered directly to the customer or they can be processed into sheets of specific sizes according to the customer's requirements. In the finishing department, the jumbo reels are cut to narrow reels by a slitter rewinder. Here we can see how Taipei office paper is made in a different part of this factory. 
Typec is a bright white office paper with superior smoothness which enhances print quality for crisp and clear images. The wide paper sheets are slit to an A4 width and as the sheets pass through the machine, a guillotine cuts each sheet to the correct length. Millions of sheets of paper are cut on this machine every hour. It's very interesting for us to know where you live when you watch this video, so tell us in the comments section below. These reams of paper pass into the wrapping machines. Here they're enrobed in a protective paper cover with the distinctive Typec brand colors. The cover is folded, glued and secured around each ream of paper in the blink of an eye. This machine can produce hundreds of reams of paper every minute. As the wrapped reams of office paper pass along the production line, they move to the boxing section. Stacks of five reams drop down into the cardboard, which is folded around them and glued in one swift motion. I often wonder who designs and who builds these ingenious machines. A cardboard lid is folded, glued and fitted to each box which is firmly secured with a plastic strap. The entire process is highly automated with qualified and trained staff overseeing that everything runs smoothly. Can you imagine the chaos that would result if just one section of this production broke down? The machinery is built to run efficiently and smoothly for many years. Well, that's quite a process, manufacturing paper from crushed sugarcane, who knew? By making use of the waste from sugarcane processing, this factory produces paper in a very efficient and environmentally friendly way. If you liked this video, please send a link to your friends and family and let us know in the comments section below.